Okay, two days ago, whoo, I believe everybody hates me when I said 10 reasons why I hate about Somali people. Damn, that's gotta hurt. I know. It, it really does hurt me to say that so much, which I don't want to hurt say anything or bad about Somali and my own people. But it's just, there's things that annoys me and I had to tell you that 10 things why I hate about Somali people but guess what today is the weekend it's the weekend okay and you know the weekend get it get it now wait. but right now I feel happy I feel loved I feel amazing and this is what I'm gonna tell you top 10 reasons to love Somali number 10 food Damn, now that's one thing I love about Somali, food. Damn, that's what everybody want to eat. Food is the number one priority that we love each other. Like, that will make people like bring all together because food is just, <sighs> all this man, and like, like you don't understand how much this food meant to us. All the chef, how well, I can't even imagine how much I love about Somali food. That's why there's a lot of Somali restaurant at Minneapolis. Like, Minneapolis, like, what the heck? Like, a lot of restaurants over there. But why there's no restaurant in St. Paul? Like, come on, like, there is, there is a lot of Somali people who are living right here. Especially there's a school called Higher Ground Academy where mostly Somali goes there like like that's like 99% of that school are Somali and Ethiopian. Well actually it's Somali and Otomar. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let's just say um, I love the food. And that's what make us together united. Just like like what's up? Like let's enjoy this delicious. Number nine. Yeah, nine. <laughs> culture. Ooh. You you don't understand about the culture, like like learning your culture, learning the history of your ancestor. Like, wow. Like you know how old that town has they have an afro and this all this white stuff and has some Either they have a sword or a gun. I don't know which one they have. But still, I like the culture of it, especially the the the, the drum instruments and all that stuff. It's just like like Somali is great. Like I love Somali. The the clothes, and especially the woman clothes. I love it. like damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go back to culture like amazing like so beauty and everything that's one thing that's one thing i love about well actually that's a, that's another thing i love about somali number eight hang out with friends hmm hang with friends I'm, I'm not talking about just random friends like like this latino guy this chinese guy this white African American, white or something like that, you know I'm talking about, something like that. I'm talking about Somali people. Hang out with Somali people who are your friends or some random people who, like whatever. Because let me give you let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. If you hang with the Somali people, I promise you, I promise you, I'm not even joking. Like there's no joke. Once you go home. Once you come back home, you you will feel exhausted. Like if you hang out with me, you will feel exhausted. You will feel like 
like what a day like what a day seriously because Somali people when they go outside or when they hang out with each other hmm energy just keep going like this is non-stop like like the energy just keep going like what the heck it's oh my god just it keep damn like and now that it will also make you like go crazy and now that now that we always we always make fun of each other a lot i mean a lot a lot a lot and we do give fight and sometimes we say oh we have to laugh like oh they're fighting fight 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 hey like all that crap shit but still like once we once we done fighting we can we will get mad like in few probably a few hours a few days but then later on we we'll come back as brothers you know what i'm saying like huh, uh, 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 uh. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Seriously, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Number seven. Number seven. The most Muslim religious. Does it make sense? Okay. I don't want to be too judgmental. Let's just say that. I want to be too judgmental. Trust me. Trust me. I'm saying this because I hang with a lot of people, especially the Muslim. I like. I hang with a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of people. A lot of Muslim people, let's just say that. And to be honest, I don't want to do very judgmental, but the way I see, the way how I've been seeing lots of, I want to do a compare for Somali who are Muslim, well actually majority are Muslim. Actually 99% are Muslim. While the other race, who are Muslim like like I had to compare about Arab they like yes they're Muslim I'm not gonna say they're not Muslim but they are Muslim but when it comes to women who dress like you can say they wear jeans which they're not allowed to wear jeans that's what I heard but usually they're not wearing a Muslim clothing I, I, it's just I feel so judgmental that's what I feel but I don't want to judge too much. But you know how like when you see like like a jeans and tight jeans and all that stuff, you it's hard. Well, yes, you can see a lot of Somali girls does that. But that's like like little kid, like younger kids, like younger kids. But I'm talking about the people who's like like from 20s to older. That's what I'm talking about. 20s to older, majority of them. Don't wear jeans. I'm talking with Somali people, but other people and other race. Eh. But I, I believe Somali is the most religious, and we always not only not only clothing, especially Quran and this. It's hard for me to explain this topic because. This topic is really hard. like I, I can be right at the same time and the wrong same time I'm gonna be wrong. Because I wanna be shit. Shh, can I skip this guys? Like I know what I'm talking about in my mind, but the way I'm saying is like what the hell are you saying? Like are you saying my people is, is like like weaker, like you are better than me? Like no, I'm not saying nobody's better than nobody. I'm just Maybe let's cut this. I'm sorry. Let's cut this. Let's skip it. I'm sorry. And let's talk about number six. Business. Woo! 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 Okay, remember I told you. Remember I told you that um hmm. 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 About the other days I say negative about some other people who are like go crazy, whatever. Yes, they are crazy. But when it comes to business, they're super crazy. Like, like, here's the funny part is mostly Somali. I'm not well, actually half of the population of Somali people has business. I'm gonna say more than half. More than half of the Somali people has business. Even if they never, trust me, 
even they never had a business in here, like never had a business in here in America, but when, when they go back to like Somalia, like they already have a store. Like, like their store is like two times bigger than my room. Well, actually, yeah, two times bigger than my room and taller. Like, how did you get up? How did you rent this? Like, how did you offer all this shit thing? And what's so funny is a lot of Somali people in America or other country, whatever, they're on a low, low, I mean the lowest income of all, like, whatever, right? But when they went to Africa or Somalia, boom, they have business, they have money. I was like, Maybe I want to go to Africa too and make a huge amount of money. Yeah. So that's that's one thing about the business because Somali people are smart in business. Like especially my mom, she's doing business right now. <laughs> number five! Number five! Number five! A Hey, oh my god, do you know one thing I love about number five? Number five is women. Somali women. Let me tell you something. If you ask me who do you think I'm gonna get married to? If you ask me who is very attractive, like on every race, forget the religion, every race. Oh my goodness, like, what the? Let me be honest with you guys. Let me be honest with you guys. I want to be honest, like clear honest. <sighs> Middle school, I don't have no interest in um, Somali women. Trust me, wallahi. I don't have, I have zero interest on in Somali women, zero. Although I, I went to a school that's full of Somali people, like majority Somali, I just, I don't know what got me like not like liking Somali women, but in high school, what the heck is going on? What is this? Like, how did I became in love with Somali women? <laughs> I don't know. It just a lot gave me the love to Somali women, and like I get very excited, especially if Somali women standing right next to me and say. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's not about the beauty, it's something had I wanna do something like oh shit. and number four education education let's just say okay um I'll I swear there's some girls some guys hate about some other people exactly. they said like they only see people who wanna become gangster and all that stuff and everything I understand that, but <laughs> I hang with a lot of Somali people and I know who is Somali and whatever and all that stuff. There are Somali who's an engineer, there are Somali who's a doctor, there are Somali who is a, um, uh, like the sheriff, the sheriff like like in Twin City, uh, actually in Minneapolis. There's a Somali woman, like the sheriff, and now that even the political, not, I'm not saying like Somali political, like a Somali political, no, I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about the US. <sighs> Seriously, you don't know how much I love about Somali people when it comes to education. There's some Somali people who are very smart, like in my school. It's just like, mashallah, like mashallah. Keep going guys. Wait, wait. Uh wait, how let you say um when I when I hang out with Somali people, I get like I don't know, I just feel like I'm like like my body's shrinking, shrinking, shrink. But when I'm not hanging out with them, I'm just like like it's just that's me, like like just it's just me because there's a lot of Somali people who are very skinny and will make you very active. And we I know, I know. But recently, I haven't hang out with a lot of Somali people, and the funny part is, the funny part is, when it comes to college and YouTube and home, and there's a lot of shit 
behind the YouTube. There's a lot of shit behind it. But now, but now, recently, but this past week, I've been going back to gym, try to be better as possible. Like no excuse, no talk. I won't even discuss it right now. But I am trying my best, like, like my fullest, like, just like F 90, 90 day weight loss journey because I mess it up because there's a lot of things I I done wrong that in the past what I did is not exactly what I did right now and I want to do it I want to do the way I did before so that's why especially when I went to the gym there's a lot of some other people so I feel more comfortable to be in the same level because one time I was playing basketball I was supposed to play basketball with a little kid I swear you don't understand how it's hard for me to catch my breath because I haven't run that much like dribble the ball and all that stuff I haven't catch my breath for a while so I had to pretend that I catch my breath but it was really hard but the next night I did okay I improved so that's what I'm gonna do especially when I'm not going to gym I'm still working out I'm still trying to eat good so that's why I love uh, some other people because the weight thing will make you feel better I don't know it just I don't know it's number two right flex song I don't know how much I love about the flex song the flex song make me happy like it's just like it make me feel proud like like you don't understand guys all the struggle all like like two decades Two decades of war, two decades of like famine, two decades of separation from the country that I was born with. And the funny part is, whenever I hear this song, this flag song, actually there's two types of, there's the two like the, the, what people hear as usual, but what is the original song. And there's a two different songs. But whenever I hear a flex song, it just makes me proud that there is hope. There's always will be a hope. Because hope will never die. Number one, oh my goodness. The country. The country of Somalia. You know how for the past year it was decades of war. The buildings destroyed. <laughs> Many life has been swept away. I'm just like it was really hard to understand but ever since like it was like the end of 2012 like it was the it was like beginning of 2012 but actually it was 2013 that's where it started and of like reconstruction of Somalia which means and one thing that made me happy is getting better and better and better and better because what people think about Somalia is very hot it's very hot and that's what I think because that's what I heard from school and everything but my mom went there for 2013 summertime she said that where, what like she went to Somalia there is not it's not hot it's not hot Yes, you might see a desert, you may see a this and this and that, but there's no hat. It's the, it's the best weather, and they have the best ocean, like, like amazing. And I was like, okay, okay. Like, because my mom, she always, because when she was young, when she was young, like, she lived in Mogadishu. She always told, tell me every story about the life at Mogadishu, the place I was born. I was not born uh, the same area where my mom was from, like the, the Redigli, I think Redigli, but I cannot say in Somali, I, I was born in the area of Black Sea, Black Sea, but, but recently, for well, like this time, when I, when I saw Somali, right, I've been, I've been like, wow, is this how Somali look like, is this how amazing it look like, because what 
other media has shown is like like making not all of us going to Mogadishu not a lot of because Mogadishu is a type of a city that you will just go and visit and have a vacation it's like example of Hawaii Hawaii but it's just that's what I love about the Somali country it's so beautiful that like you, you can't even talk, like, you just want to go and have fun and enjoy. <sighs> I know I talk way too much, and I just want to say um, thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time tomorrow on App Nation TV. <laughs>